President's Counsel Jayanth Jai Surya, who served as a senior additional Solicitor General, assumed duties as the 29th Attorney General of Sri Lanka this morning. The new Attorney General took oaths before President Maithripala Sirisena at a function held at the Presidential Secretariat following religious observances. The new Attorney General took oaths before President Maithripala Sirisena at a function held at the Presidential Secretariat. Jayanth Chandrasiri Jai Surya, President's Counsel, who pursued his education at Maliadeva College, Kurunagala, was admitted and enrolled as an attorney at law of the Supreme Court of Sri Lanka in September 1982. Jai Surya, being a Commonwealth scholar from 1993 to 1996, obtained his Master of Philosophy from the University of Hong Kong. He is also a solicitor in England and Wales. He counts 33 years of service in the Attorney General's Department, having joined the Department in 1983 as a State Counsel. He was promoted as Senior State Counsel in 1996, Deputy Solicitor General in 2004, Additional Solicitor General in 2011, and appointed as Senior Additional Solicitor General in 2014. He was appointed as the President's Counsel in March 2012. Jayanth Jai Surya functioned as the head of the Criminal Division of the Attorney General's Department and has appeared in several important and sensational cases including the Sadi Palakshan murder trial, Angulana double murder trial, Royal Park murder trial and Anuruddha Ratwatte bribery case. Jayanth Jai Surya worked for the United Nations as a trial attorney in two war crimes tribunals and was awarded the Prosecutor of the Year 2012 award by the International Association of Prosecutors. At the apex of the Attorney General's Department is the Attorney General who is the principal officer of the state. The next in command is the Solicitor General, followed by Senior Additional Solicitors General, Senior Deputy Solicitors General, Deputy Solicitors General, followed by Senior State Council and State Council. The Attorney General is the chief or the principal legal officer of the state and one of the major functions of the Attorney General is to advise the state on all legal matters. And the state will always rely on the advice given by the Attorney General on whatever legal issues crop up. On the other hand, the Attorney General also advises the state about the constitutionality of any draft bill. But in addition to that, I think one of the most important functions performed by the Attorney General is where the Attorney General advises all state officers on legal issues and where he appears for the state in all cases, uh, representing the state, watching the interests of the state. But Far more important is the right the Attorney General enjoys to advise the police on all criminal prosecutions. And the Attorney General is a system where the Attorney General advises the police on criminal prosecutions. On certain instances, if the police find that the investigation that they are uh, continuing with is a complex one, they quite often refer to the Attorney General and seek the advice of the Attorney General before before launching the prosecution or even before continuing the investigations. Any citizen, if he thinks that the police or the investigating authorities are unreasonable in the investigation against them or investigation on behalf of them, they're entitled to write to the Attorney General and seek the intervention of the Attorney General.